What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. It is currently December 21st, 548 in the morning and today's video I'm going to be taking you through a full day of eating on a medium carb day. Right now I'm currently on a carb cycle and Monday through Friday are going to be my lower days. So today I think I'm only going to get like 104 or 100, around 100 grams of carbs. So since today is Thursday, today actually would be considered like my medium carb day. So basically Saturday and Sunday are going to be my high carb days because that's when I do my long runs um, and then also my, my more intense training sessions because I'm training for the Spartan Trifecta. So Saturday and Sunday are really fueled for my workouts and then Monday through Friday are going to be lower carb days. Monday and Wednesday are actually going to be like zero carbs. I think I get 25 or like 50 grams of carbs for the entire day and the reason being is because Monday and Wednesday I don't work out. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and then my carbs go up to about 125. I think 129 is what's on the schedule today. So um, this prep I'm, I'm really like actually just using my carbs for my training session so depending on what I'm doing that day that's how I calculated how many carbs I'm gonna have so right now like I said it's about 550 uh, I'm gonna do my morning devotional Bible read all that stuff and then I'm gonna be sipping on my pre-workout for my pre-workout though I do have some carbs in them I'm thinking I'm gonna do um, a full training session today I usually don't I usually do have been doing cardio in the morning and then lifting in the afternoon um, however I think I'm just gonna get it all done since I am on break right now and I kind of want to have the rest of the day just to kind of not have to worry about oh I got to go train so I think I'm going to do both of them this is not a training video though so I'm not going to take you through the training but I will catch up with you guys for meal number two which is going to be my post-workout meal so as of right now the only meal I have in me my meal number one is also going to be my pre-workout and it's just going to be 25 grams of a carb powder mixed in with my megawatt and and endura formants the train today i got four mile four to four to five miles i think i'm only gonna run four i'm um, still kind of easing back into it i ran five on tuesday felt really good wasn't sore but i know i got a long run on saturday so i'll probably do four miles today and then i got chess and then i got um, some type of metcon right after so not too intense of a training session it probably should take me about an hour and a half hour and 40 if that so anyways i'm gonna go get into this training session and i'll see you guys for meal number two all right change plans because i am hungry and i was about to start sipping on my pre-workout but i'm like mm, i'm really hungry now and i want to have a good solid training session so what i decided is i'm actually going to do uh meal number two right now so i'll show you guys what that is and then i'm going to work out i'll probably go out there in about an hour start warming up and everything like that so let me show you what my post-workout meal was going to be but instead now it's going to be my meal number two now that is the beauty of being on break right now is i'm able to have the flexibility of switching up when my meals are but typically i'll eat at about six nine twelve three and then my last meal is at six so technically i don't eat from six at night to six in the morning so it's almost like a 12 hour fast <coughs> But for this meal, I'm gonna do 40 grams of oats, which is basically half a cup of oats. I'm gonna do three and a half ounces of almond milk. And really the only reason I measure the almond milk is because I want a certain consistency when I eat. If I do like five ounces, it's way too liquidy. So the only reason I measure it is not so much for the calories, but so that I could have get the consistency in the way I like it. And then all I'll do is two tablespoons of peanut butter. So again, it's a little bit higher in the fat and then one scoop of chocolate milkshake formula one. And that's it. And then the calories and macros for this, 468 calories, 33 grams of protein, 39 grams of carbs, and then 22 grams of fats. So it's really like, balance across the board and sometimes I'll switch this up like I said sometimes I mean I usually eat this after my workout just because formula one is a very fast digesting 
protein so it like gets right into your muscles after you use them. However, now I'm going to kind of use it on the opposite end and get as much protein into my muscles so that I can have a good workout. Alright, so just add one scoop. And then I've weighed out my peanut butter enough that I know that that is about two, 32 grams, which equals two tablespoons of peanut butter. And I do love me some peanut butter. All right, so there you have it, meal number two. Good consistency. Actually, this would be still meal number one because I've not shrank my pre-workout. So I'm gonna eat this. Like I said, in about an hour, I will start drinking my pre-workout, go into my garage, start warming up and all that stuff. So this is meal number one down the hatch. So workout is done. Did a 45 minute chest workout. And then I ended up running the five miles like I said I was going to. And then I jumped in the ice bath for three minutes. So now we're gonna do a post-workout meal. And for this meal, I got a cup and a half of egg whites, two, two of these sausage patties, And then one whole bagel and a bunch of spinach. I used to do whole eggs, but now I'm doing egg whites just to get more protein. And it's also I could get more volume from food since a whole egg has a lot of fat. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> Great job out there. She's in Canada. So I, got, I will show you guys what the finished product looks like, but the overall calories, 610 calories, 71 grams of protein, 53 carbs, and 11 fat. So this is technically meal number two, a post-workout meal. So I'm pretty sure it's a sign that you are getting old when you get more excited when the trash man comes than when Amazon comes. Anybody else out there like that? I swear, every time I see the trash man come and I know it's trash day and my trash cans are gonna be empty, it just makes me have a, have a good day. So I think if I had to choose who I'm more excited about to see, whether it be the Amazon driver or the trash man, I think I'm gonna take the trash man. What do you, who do you guys choose? Amazon or trash man? But anyways, I just finished up my breakfast and my post-workout meal. Uh, and now I'm back out in the garage gym because I'm actually gonna walk for 10 minutes. So uh, I'm probably gonna walk outside though because it's a beautiful day out, but I need to get 10 minutes of walking in. Uh, since I am on break, I'm really not that active throughout the day. Like the past couple days, on days that I don't work out and don't do cardio, I'm only getting like 5,000 steps. Um, and when I was in really good shape for my, my last Spartan race, I was getting like 20,000 steps a day. So even though I'm on break, I'm, I'm trying out this new method that every time after I eat a meal, I just basically walk for about 10 minutes. Um, obviously it's not super strenuous. I'm not walking at incline. I'm not walking with like a vest or anything on. I'm, I'm literally just trying to get steps in because I know that if I get over 20,000 steps a day, um, I'm just really trying to imitate what I did for my previous Spartan race where I was like 192 pounds and I really liked the way I looked. Um, so that, I'm literally just starting that today. That's actually part of, it's gonna be what I'm gonna do on January 1st. I'm gonna be starting a 30 day full send. Um, and I will probably do a separate video on that um, cause that was what I was talking to you guys about last week. Um, basically getting your mind right and doing like a 30, not, I don't even wanna say it's a 30 day challenge because it's like a 30 day mindset lifestyle development. Um, I'll, I'll do a whole video on that, but that's one of the things I, I plan on doing is getting back to 20,000 steps a day. There's like six or seven things, or even maybe more than that, that I plan on doing once the new year starts. But I'll do that video <clears throat> before January 1st, or on January 1st, so you guys can possibly join along. But what I am gonna do right now, I'm gonna get my steps in while I read this book. Um, this is a really good book. I picked it up at Barnes & Noble probably about a week ago and I'm pretty much already done with it. I really like the concept of it. It's by Mike Bayer. 
Apparently he's like a life coach, um, but good stuff. So I'm about to finish that and then I'll start reading my second book or my other book. But anyways, I'm gonna get some steps in and I also wanna see if I walk for 10 minutes, how many steps I get in in 10 minutes. So that's the game plan. So let's get to walking. All right, so it is 12.30, which means it is lunchtime, AKA meal number three. So for meal number three, very simple, very plain, but effective. So today I'm having eight ounces of chicken thighs. I do not do chicken breast anymore. It is just too dry and too nasty and I don't like it. And <clears throat> since I'm not having that many carbs today, I'm able to up my fats, which allows me to have chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts. And chicken thighs are just so much more enjoyable than chicken breasts. So usually I'll have a vegetable with it, some type of whether broccoli, squash, zucchini, anything like that, just steamed vegetable. However, I am out of steamed vegetable, so I'm not gonna be having that today. So like I said, it's just eight ounces of chicken thighs. So the macros for this, 320 calories, 44 grams of protein, zero carbs, and 16 fats. So when it comes to on training days, the three during the week, my lower carb ones, my goal is to get all my carbs around my training. So pretty much, the remainder of the meals for the rest of the day, there's not gonna be that many carbs because again, this is just gonna be a lower carb day. Obviously, I still have a good amount of protein. So the chicken, the way I season it, um, I got this like crock pot seasoning from Stater Brothers and they had Parmesan chicken and Buffalo chicken. So I actually didn't even do it in the, um, I think I said crock pot, it's not crock pot, um, air fryer, air fryer chicken. So it's like, par you could get like a packet and you're able to do a pound and a half. So I did a pound and a half of the Parmesan chicken and then a pound and a half of like the buffalo chicken. And the buffalo chicken's a little spicy. I mean, I don't like spicy. So maybe I'm just being a little wimp. But this is what it looks like. Like I said, just chicken. Nothing special. But it actually is really good chicken. This is probably my favorite flavor by first form. The citrus one, the green can, tastes like Sprite. The orange can, Tastes like orange soda. The blue raspberry tastes really like blue raspberry. I like that one, but I think this cherry lime is my favorite. So I'm gonna eat this, sip on that, and then as soon as I'm done with that, this, I'm gonna go back out to my gym and get in another 10 minutes of walking. So basically, what it, the way it works out is I checked it on my first round. 10 minutes equals 1,000 calories. So if I eat six meals a day, and say like five of them I actually walk after. Oh no, is it raining? So it's currently raining right now. And I just got done painting my squat rack in the back. So that should be interesting. So I probably should go move that. I'm gonna eat this and then go get some my, my steps in. I'll catch up with you guys for meal number four, which is gonna be the afternoon snack. So it is 3.30, which means it is time for meal number four or as I call it, the afternoon snack. <clears throat> Today's afternoon snack, since I am at home, I have access to a blender. It's gonna be a shake, actually. So, for those of you who've been following the channel, you know that I am a big fan of Progurt, which all that is, is a scoop of level one protein. Today I went with the red velvet cake, which is awesome. I've been doing the pumpkin spice latte, which I love pumpkin spice, but if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm not really that big of a fan of that one. So I went with red velvet. Then I went with 170 grams of yogurt. And I went with five ounces of almond milk. And then I threw in a little bit of spinach. So that is another benefit of being home right now. I have access to actually blending all that. But usually my yogurt or my progurt is just the protein and then obviously the yogurt. But I am trying to get more greens, so this helps out. So the macros for this meal, macros for this meal, 260 calories, 41 grams of protein, 12 grams of carbs, and then five grams of fat. And then I put a little bit of ice in it, but I do like the red velvet cake. So since it is 3.30, my last meal will be at about six o'clock. It's about two and a half hours from now. I pretty much finished painting two of the beams for my squat rack. So now I only gotta paint two more, which means I should be able to probably put it in the garage maybe this week or so. Um, 
I'm hoping that's the goal because I really want to start using that squat rack because it's tall. It's actually like a rig. It's more like a rig, not so much a rack because it's super tall and it's a three by three frame, which means I could actually buy attachments for it. So I've already been looking at some dip attachments. I think I'm actually going to put mount my weights on it so that I could have more floor space, which would be super nice. So we shall see. But again, these are all plans for my garage gym. I need a shower too. I haven't showered yet. So I'm going to finish this shower and then I will catch up with you guys okay. for the final meal. Meal number six, dinner. Cassie looks super tired right now. She's in clean mode though. You just stay out of her way when she's in clean mode. She's like a bat out of hell when she's in clean mode. <laughs> She's not, really, but she does love cleaning. She's a weirdo. She looks vacuuming. She won't let me vacuum. I like vacuuming, but she doesn't let me vacuum. Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys for meal number six. All right, so it is six, six o'clock or 5.48, which means it is time for my last meal, which is, I call my dinner. And I have been loving my go-to meal. I call it the burger bowl because it's basically everything you would put on a burger minus the bun so i'll show you so i got lettuce i got tomato i got pickle and then i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a little shredded cheese on top so just a little bit of shredded cheese and i got eight ounces of lean ground turkey 93.7 Put a little bit of ketchup. I put a little bit of mustard. And then just a little bit of some ranch. Now, I don't track the condiments, so I don't track the ranch, but one serving, which is not even probably a serving, is 60 calories. One serving of this is 10 calories. And then one serving of this is zero calories. However, a serving is only a teaspoon. So I'm pretty sure I did more than a teaspoon. So there's probably some calories in it. And if I wanted to be super strict, I probably could take it out. But at this point, I'm really more just trying to find something that I could stick to every, at least Monday through Friday and not hate my life and not have cravings for bad food so this is like a way of me kind of getting a treat where it tastes like a hamburger where it's really not and then the calories for this again all i'm tracking is the ground turkey so 340 calories 44 grams of protein zero carbs and 16 grams of fat and this was technically my last meal so this is what it looks like i think i've actually told you guys about this meal prior because i got my dad hooked on it my dad loves it too like I said, it's a, it's a good last meal. It's not a lot of carbs, doesn't sit heavy, and it's very easy to digest. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I think last time I checked, I was at like 19,000 steps. So it actually worked out perfect. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna go out on my treadmill, walk for 10 minutes, and that should put me at 20,000 steps. And then I will wrap up this full day of eating for you guys. And just like that, I hit my 20,000 steps for the day. So I'm actually at 20,053 steps, 10.28 miles on the day. So I'm definitely gonna have to do that every single day. Now, for instance, the reason why I also hit it though, is I ran five miles. So like tomorrow, I'm not running five miles. I'm only gonna run three. So I'm gonna probably have to do more steps. What I'll probably do is after every meal, I'll walk like 15 minutes. 10 minutes goes by really fast. And what I've noticed, at least with myself, I'll be honest with you guys, when I'm done eating, I usually go sit on the couch and I'm on my phone. And I'm on my phone for like 10 minutes. So if you're gonna do that and you already do that, why not just get up and walk? And like today, I actually went on a walk after one of my meals with Cassie and Adeline. Um, if you don't have a treadmill, you could walk outside. If it's the weather's not nice outside, there was a time where I was walking in my house. I would walk from one side of my house to the next side of my house and I was just moving, trying to get, there's a lot of benefits in after you eat it to get up and kind of just move around instead of go veg out on the couch. So I would encourage you guys, if you guys are <clears throat> not getting that many steps in, 
um, whether you have an office job or whatever, even if you have an office job, you know, try to take as many trips to the copy machine or walk around your desk a couple times or do something that after you eat, if you got a 30 minute break, eat for 10 minutes, walk for 20 minutes, you know, that, that stuff like that. Get to work 20 minutes early, do a 20 minute walk there. Um, when I'm at work, I do the same thing. As soon as I'm done eating, it's on my prep, so I'll just go walk around the school. After lunch, I'll eat and then I'll go walk around the school. And then I, I, I just do that all day trying to get my steps. But since I'm not on at work right now because I'm on break, this is how I'm doing it. So anyways, recap of today's full day of eating. So I had 2,098 calories, 233 grams of protein, 129 grams of carbs, and then 70 grams of fat. Um, so the way I broke this up, just so you guys could kind of have some, if you guys want to take this and, and follow along or create your own, um, I am a firm believer of carb cycling. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I believe in carb cycling and it works for me. I like it because I'm able to switch up what I eat every single day instead of doing like, oh, I'm at 2,400 calories. This is my, the, my macros are this amount of protein, fats, and carbs, and just do that every single day. Um, some people are really good at switching that up. I don't like doing that. So what I do is I have, like I said, two low carb days where it's like, I think it's 25 to 50 grams of carbs. And that's a certain template of what my six meals look like. So for those two days, I eat the exact same thing. And then for my other three days, which are Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm at a medium carb day. So whatever I just said, I already forgot. That's how great my memory is. Um, 129 grams of carbs. So that's what I eat Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and then on Saturday and Sunday, like I said, I've been doing this for I think two weeks, maybe three weeks now. Um, my Saturdays and Sundays, my calories are up to like 3,500 calories and my carbs are over like 300 carbs. And I did that for a couple of reasons. One, Saturdays, like I said, Saturdays are my very that's my long training day, long workout, long run, all of that. So I need the calories to replenish. And what I've noticed is if I'm in a calorie deficit and I burn a lot of calories and then I'm trying to maintain, you know, a 2000 calorie diet, um, I'm going to probably be reaching for stuff and cheat during the day. But if I set myself up to 3,500 calories, then I got a big cushion. Now I planned out those 35, it's all 3,500 clean calories. But for instance, if I have to go to like a party that day or something, maybe I'll switch out like two of my meals for one meal at an actual party and then it still balances out for about 3,500 calories. And I do that on Saturday and Sunday. So I give myself plenty of room in case of life happens where there's like a party or I'm not able to eat and I have to eat more or whatever, whatever may come up. I've basically prevented myself from having any setbacks. So my, the way I did that is I have, I'm allowed to take in 2,400 calories. According to a couple of the different calculators I use, if I take in 2,400 calories a day, I'll uh, be in a calorie deficit. So instead, what I did is if you notice Monday through Friday, I'm pretty much at like 2,000 calorie diet. So if you do 2,000 times 10 or 2,000 times five, that's 10,000. But if you do 2,400 calories times seven, I wanna say it comes out to like 16,970 or something like that. So that's the number that I'm working with. Well, if I took 10,000 of that Monday through Friday, then that basically means I'm left with like 6,790. I don't know the exact amount. We'll say 7,000. I'm left with 7,000 calories that I'm, I'm going to lose weight regardless of where those calories come. So if I take those 7,000 calories and I divide those by two days, Sunday and Thursday, then I'm still in a calorie deficit even though I'm eating 3,500 calories in one day when I'm usually consuming 2,000 calories. But since I've been doing the 2,000 calories a day, I'm actually not hungry. Like right now, I, I'm not hungry, I have no cravings. So it's very easy for me to maintain that Monday through Friday. Even being on break right now when I'm home um, and around different types of food, and like for instance, if Cassie goes out and gets something to eat for her and Adeline, um, I'm still okay, because like I said, I'm not really craving anything. And I think that's because uh, Monday I have a meal or a certain template and then Tuesday it switches up and then Wednesday it switches back. And then Thursday and Friday, like today's Thursday, tomorrow I'm gonna eat the same thing I ate today, but then Saturday comes around and I'm eating completely different and I'm eating a lot more. And then Sunday comes around and like I said, Sunday mornings I always have donuts with my daughter 
because I'm allowed 3,500 calories. So those donuts, like I said, that will replace basically meal one and two. And then at three, four, and five, I could pretty much eat those and I'm still on track. So like I said, I've been doing this and, and I, I like the results I'm getting. I'm still losing weight. I think this morning I weighed in at 207 or something. So I'm right around like, I'll average my, my weight at the end of the week and, and let you guys know where I'm at. But anyways, I know that was kind of a lot of information, but I kind of wanted to let you guys know that um, especially with the new year coming around, if you guys are looking at doing a diet, I would recommend uh, doing a carb cycling. And I basically just gave you the template of how to figure out how to do it for yourself. One, find out what your calorie deficit is if you're trying to lose weight. It's gonna give you a certain number. Times that by seven, whatever that grand total is. Mess around with your carbs or your, your calories on certain days. And as long as you hit that total overall number for the entire week, you should be fine. And that goes for the same if you're trying to bulk. But anyways, I just realized we got about 10 days left of the New Year's. Um, New Year's is closing in. I'm already starting to think of what I'm doing for 2024. Like I said, I'm probably going to do my next video will be on how to map out your 2024. And then also if you want to do the 30 day full send with me, um, I'll give you the details of basically what I'm doing. And then you can take your own template um, and do the, I, I'm going to call it a challenge, but I mean, because that's really what it is. But it's really just a challenge to like change your lifestyle. It's not like a 30 day challenge one and done. It's more of like a 30 day challenge to build the foundation to after that 30 days, build a different 30 days, build another 30 days and just stack on top of that so that by the end of 2024, you have developed a lot of good habits that will set you up for success. That's the goal. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I was going to give you guys a full day of eating. Now you got it. You'll get my daily plan or my 30 day full send January 1st. As of right now, the website is still planned to launch with my template for the, the, the same workout plan I used <clears throat> for the Spartan Super, Spartan Sprint, or Spartan Sprint, Spartan Super, and then Spartan Beast. Those will be available for you guys to purchase. Like I said, they're gonna be the exact same workout and running program and even diet that I used for it so that you guys can see it, use it, um, and does it work? Yeah, it works because I didn't die when I did the Spartan race. Did I podium? Absolutely not. So if that's your goal, then it's probably not for you. But if your goal is to just step out of your comfort zone and step onto a Spartan racetrack, then it, it's, it's a perfect workout plan for you. But I'm very excited because like I said, after f running my five miles today, during that five miles, I felt good. I did not feel like fatigued. Didn't have to blow my nose. Didn't feel congested or anything that. I literally went back inside when I was done and told Cassie like, I'm back because I, I feel good. Um, I just looked at the schedule. I think I got a 10 miles on Saturday. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna do three. And then as of right now, the goal is to get back into running 10 miles um, on Saturday. So we shall see, shall see how that goes, but I'm very excited and I'm pretty pumped for January 27th because I'm coming for that trifecta and I'm gonna take it, all of it. And I'm gonna get me three medals in one weekend and hopefully I don't die. That is the goal. Appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. You'll get more content like this. Um, I'm always preparing for whether it's a Spartan race, a DECA race, or some type of challenge, but I document it all. So if you, that sounds something like you're interested in, make sure you subscribe. Comment if you have any questions. Comment if you guys have any videos you'd like to see, which you guys already know the motto. Stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, don't be average. I will catch you guys in the next one.